previous fight with Davey, left the ring with a victory only to have an error on the referee's scorecard, later changed the verdict to a draw. Davey started fast and won the first three rounds. However, in round four, Basilio, in the black trunk, momentarily switched from a left to a right-hand lead, and several times his jarring blows forced Davey to hold on. Davey regains the aggressor's role in the fifth round, and the former Michigan State NCAA champion cleverly outboxes his harder-hitting foe. Basilio, ever on the alert, is just looking for that opening and a chance to land that knockout punch. Six, Davey continues to be the master boxer and jabs repeatedly to Basilio's head and midsection. Basilio, in desperation, swings wildly on several occasions, but keeps boring in with head bent low. At this stage of the fight, Davey appears to have a comfortable lead. Basilio looks tired, and his handlers work overtime to condition him for the next bell. The seventh and eighth rounds went to Davy, and in the ninth, Basilio, after a slow start, launches a great desperation rally. Basilio's hammer-like blows to Davy's head results in cuts over both the left cheekbone and right eyebrow, the Midwesterner. Late in the round, with his right eye bleeding freely, Davy holds on at every opportunity. His eye is now in very bad shape. At the round's conclusion, Davy's handlers do an excellent repair job, and the Detroit school teacher is able to answer the final bell for the final round. Cecilio, realizing that Davy's eyes are his target, aims accordingly and connects with a couple of stiff rights to the head. However, Davy's great boxing finesse and footwork keep him out of serious trouble. Cecilio desperately tries but can't land that knockout blow. the bell. Chuck Davey, the peppery Michigan State boxer, wins a unanimous decision. And it's another feather in Davey's cap. A cap that might soon contain a plume plucked from the champion Kid Gavilan himself. You know, Irish Billy Graham's long